Hey everyone, it's Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me on today's video. So the last couple of days we've looked at roads and yesterday we made a custom road style and today we're going to have a look at bridges. So bridges is this purple icon here at the top left in InfraWorks and we can uh, sketch in some bridges and tunnels. We can look at the profile of them and we can do some analysis and quantities on them. So to do a bridge is quite easy. We start off with a road and I'm just going to place a component road of uh, one of the built-in styles of a, let's do one with a median strip in the middle. So I'm just going to start a road from one corner to another. And then to lift it up above grade, I'm going to select it, right click on it and look at the profile view and have a play around with some of these points here just to lift it up above grade and you can see as I've made the changes on the profile view the model has updated as well at the same time so it's quite uh, quick in that respect. Now I want to put a road, uh, a bridge somewhere in the middle of this road so again I select it, right click, uh, add a structure, put a bridge in and we, we start and end points and then InfraWorks will do its thing and throw a road in there, uh, throw a bridge in there. So once that's done, we can dive into those bridge components a little bit deeper. We can look underneath the terrain to see uh, any of the, the subsurface uh, elements. So they will be things like the piles and, and um, uh, the, the piers themselves. So you can see if I flip underneath, you can see there that we do have uh, some values. We can change the, the pile caps to something different. Um, we've got the, the uh, some of the materials, the, we've got the cap values, we've got the piles values as well. So you go through there and make some changes. We can also select each one of them individually. And, and let's say for whatever reason I needed to rotate it, uh, it will go through and rotate and adjust itself. So you can see there as well. And, and if for whatever reason we didn't like one of them, we can go through, select it, and hit the delete key, and then InfraWorks will delete that uh, that uh, pile there as well. So that's the bridges. So we can also um, go through and do some analysis on it as well. But you know, even just quickly for quantities, I can get an idea on uh, how much structure, superstructure values are in there. So whether it's concrete or steel, um, I can also obviously look at the, the profile of that so if I select it we can get an idea on the profile and as well I can make any adjustments so if I need to change some of the values I can go through and do any of those as well and even ultimately I'm not going to do it um, in this video necessarily but I can right click and I can send it um, out to Revit as well so I guess it's it's kind of handy that if you're working with people who are using Revit then they can they, they can turn around and just import that uh, immediately as well so hopefully that's uh, been some good information for you we've also got um, some some tunnels so I guess we can probably just knock one knock a tunnel up quickly if I was to do the same thing stick a component road so same thing four lanes and then I can do the same with the profile. And then I'm going to zoom out and I'll put that underground. Okay, so it obviously does its own cut and fill, but what we can do with that is add a structure, add a tunnel, and denote the start and end points for that tunnel. And there we have uh, the tunnel for that road there as well. And again, there is there is some uh, properties in there we can have a look at as, as well. So again, don't think that you're limited with InfraWorks with what you can put in here. There is there is some, some good uh, toys and tools to play with inside InfraWorks and then we can also ultimately send this out to Silver 3D at some point as well when we get into the more detailed design of it uh, also. So 
Uh, again, hopefully it's been some good insight for you for InfraWorks and bridge and tunnel users. Uh, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Um, and again, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get daily notifications of all of my videos. And I'll see you tomorrow for some uh, drainage and watershed and even making a couple quick movies uh, for animations for your clients or anyone who wants to see the, the model. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.